Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss uh, the concept of Taylor series and uh, how we can uh, construct them. So we discussed sequences and series. We discussed the convergence of series. And now assume that we have a smooth function of one variable uh, x. So we have f of x. And uh, this is a smooth function, which means uh, it ha its derivatives all exist. First derivative, second derivative. It doesn't have a weird discontinuity or something at some point, OK? It doesn't have a sharp edge, so its first derivative uh, 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 is available. It's defined. And also, we assume that higher order derivatives are also known. So in general, it's a smooth function. Now we can have a we can find a polynomial at the proximity of a given uh, value for x. Let's call it x zero at the proximity of a point of interest. So x zero is the point of uh, the, our point of interest. Let's call it point of interest. Okay. We can approximate the function with uh, a polynomial, OK? So polynomial expansion at a given point, And it's based on the derivatives of the function, first order, second order, third order. All right? So this is a polynomial. These coefficients are constants. And these terms, x minus x0, x minus x0 squared, these are the terms that depend on the x. And this is, a, this is only valid in a proximity of x0 in a neighborhood, OK? And uh, this, uh, obviously, uh, we have to truncate it at some point. So it's not an infinite a polynomial of the infinite degree, right? We have to truncate it because we can just do numerically do infinite series, all right? And this, so therefore, this locally approximate the function. And uh, one example is the exponential function at x equals 0. e of e to the x is from 0 to infinity, n factorial, x of n, x to the nth power divided by n factorial, 1x, x2, x3 over 6, etc. And then uh, there are different ways of implementing this. One is uh, we're going to define the function using our symbolic math library that we developed in the past, and then uh, call the diff function on each function, and then call the diff function multiple times, basically. So here, call uh, diff multiple times. This diff function multiple times. Another way is to numerically evaluate higher order derivatives at each point. We will uh, get back to it. And there are different methods, like accelerated ways of calculating uh, derivatives, which is called Richardson extrapolation. We will get back to this when we look more into the calculus. But for now, we're going to use our uh, 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 our symbolic class, OK? So how are we going to do this? So we already know are familiar with the concept of the sequence and the series, right? So this is a series, and the sequence is x minus x0 to some power. And then uh, the order of the derivative is that power. And then we're going to use the polynomial class, because we know that the result is going to be polynomial. So let's head to Eclipse and uh, create a uh, Taylor. Uh, Taylor Taylor expansion, for example. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, say that uh, we have a function f or func. And then uh, in the Taylor expansion, for uh, the constructor takes a function f or func. And then I'm going to assign it uh, this dot func equals func. All right. Now at the moment it doesn't recognize the function, right? It assumes that. so. In order to use, tell it where the. If you recall, we had a project in the workspace, symbolic math, and we implemented some basic uh, 
mathematics or some basic uh, uh, elementary functions, right? So in order to tell the Java to be able to find this function, I'm going to give this project a dependency. So we go to the build path, configure build path, and in the projects, I'm going to uh, add a symbolic math, okay? And after this, now we are able to import this function from symbolic math, okay? Now maybe to recap, I'm going to, to recap on the function, I'm going to create a main method. And if you recall, we said that uh, what we can do is uh, we can uh, use uh, the function space and we defined elementary variable x and then uh, we implemented the methods that represent the composition of elementary functions. So let's do the import static uh, function space everything and here let's say function f1 equals x or sine of x and then if we do the sysout f1 it's sine of x we calculate the value we calculate the value with the get value method at math.py or just pi if you recall we duplicated the pi in the function space but it's as a constant function right so we can use it here we have to pass a double math.py over 2 and this one returns 1 if it's pi over 4 1 over a square root of 2 it should be 0 0.707 right and we had another function the diff that we're going to use right the diff method so sys out f1 dot diff and this returns a function that is the diff derivative of the original one which should return a cosine 1 times cosine that's correct and then uh, um, and then we did the operator overloading operator overloading so if I do function f2 2x plus uh, f1 and do a sys out on f2 I should get uh, 2x plus sine of x 2x plus sine of x okay so this works and then uh, finally let's check the differentiation also works on the operator overloading f2.diff so we get uh, the derivative of 2x is 2 the derivative of sine is cosine and there's a factor of 1 here all right so this was the recap now in the Taylor expansion the other thing that we need is polynomial right so um, in order to do the poly to find the polynomial uh, if you recall in the uh, the other project demo polynom we developed the polynomial okay and the polynomial takes an array of doubles to construct the polynomial so what we're going to do here we are going to calculate all the derivatives from the zeroth order which is the value of the function all the way to the nth derivative and then uh, create a polynomial so in order to do that I'm going to also give a dependency go to the build path give a dependency on the demo polynom I'm going to remove the dependency on the math lib we're going we're not going to use it and this is going to complain because we use the timer class here and the timer class is from the math lib All right, so so we have the polynomial we have our functions here some elementary functions with operator overloading so we can create more complex functions so in the Taylor expansion what we are going to do is we are going to set a method public polynomial uh, 
get series and uh, int n for example so the order is n so what we are going to do so it doesn't uh, recognize polynomial we have to import it from the demo polynomial project and this is uh, just uh, finding Taylor series from uh, uh, up to degree n okay so the degree is n so we're going to create a polynomial which is our result new polynom and we're going to pass a null remember this is this creates a zero polynomial but uh, we also have to define a coefs which is uh, an array of doubles and uh, it's going to be so the degree of the polynomial is n so we have to have n plus 1 for and then we write a for loop for int i equals 0 i less than uh, uh, coef dot or i less than coef dot length i plus plus what we are going to do if i equals 0 uh, coefs i equals uh, find dot get value at i all right else we're going to we need to differentiate n times so differentiate differentiate n times and eventually we're going to return this uh, return uh, result what one thing that we need to be careful is uh, if you recall we define the coefficients for the polynomial from the zeroth term to the highest degree so the uh, last term last uh, last index of the coef is the uh, coefficient of the highest degree and that's uh, basically uh, consistent with our definition here so the zeroth coefficient is the constant term the first coefficient is uh, x minus x0 the second is x minus x0 square so what we need we need to also have a specified the point right so we are going to give it a double x0 and an int n all right and then uh, uh, we have the coefficient so uh, let's uh, do this now I mean uh, because of this initial point calculating the coefficients is not easy because this is not exactly the coefficient of the polynomial right because we have these other terms for example x minus x0 squared creates a uh, 2x times x0 right and that adds to the previous term so let's just uh, instead of doing the coefs let's start with the zero polynomial new polynomial null all right so this is just a uh, this is a p of x equals zero and then we're going to from 0 to n plus 1 from 0 to n right i from 0 to n if i is uh, 0 we do the result equals result plus funk value we add the constant to the polynomial otherwise we're going to differentiate n times and then add to the result add to the result and uh, what we're going to add to the result is actually x minus x0 x minus x0 to some power i right so um, uh, what we are going to do is uh, we're going to let's uh, remove this and then remove this recap what i'm going to do i'm going to imp from the polynomial uh, import the static one now if you recall in the polynomial uh, we had this x our base polynomial right 
and know that the operator has already operators have been overloaded for polynomials right so differentiate n times to find the for k equals zero. differentiate basically i times for k equals zero k less than i k plus plus we're going to so let's define a double coef is uh, one and then uh, coef times equals uh, funk dot diff um, uh, basically funk We take the different derivative and uh, obviously we need to first make a copy so um, because this just destroys the okay uh, function funk copy equals uh, funk and this is uh, these two are currently pointing to the same object, the object references but we destroy the fine copy and uh, differentiate it n time so we differentiate it n time put it back in the copy n time alright so uh, okay now after we differentiate n times we're going to uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a polynomial so uh, we're going to add it to the result the result equals result plus uh, fun copy get value at point uh, x0 right times x if you recall x is coming from polynomial x minus x0 to some power so that's the other thing so um, we're going to create also a polynomial here P equals uh, new polynomial one if this is just uh, P of X equals one and each time that we each time that we do the diff we also p equals p times x minus x zero we also accumulate these uh, multiplications and then uh, eventually we add the results something like this okay so let's recap what we did so we're defining a method get series and we're giving the initial uh, uh, so basically this is the initial uh, order point this is point of interest this is the degree of uh, say, uh, Taylor series degree of our polynomial and it returns uh, polyno uh, returns the Taylor series of the function all right So we define a zero polynomial and then uh, if the degree is n we have to go from zero to index n that's why this is n plus one if it's zero we don't need to do any differentiation it's just the value of the function and then uh, we copy this function into a new one and then we also created a one function because we want to construct uh, when to differentiate the function n times that's why we have this inner loop and then uh, we also need to create x minus x0 to the power of i right i times 
that's why we have this one polynomial and then multiply it by itself all right and then eventually we add the results add to the result right so we calculate the uh, i derivative at x0 and we calculate x minus x0 to the i and then add it to the result add it to the result okay all right now let's uh, test it so class test taylor series or taylor expansion and we want to have a main method here i'm going to create a public a static void test one and we're going to run test one all right in the test one i'm going to create a function f1 or f let's say equals uh, 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 let's import static function space everything and then uh, import the function let's input let's say sine of x or oh, first of all just x right let's uh, just see what happens when I do x and uh, I'm going to create a Taylor expansion te new Taylor expansion of f and then uh, polynomial p or Taylor is uh, te dot get series. Let's say we want to add at zero, and we want to go to third term, and then uh, sys out Taylor. All right, let's see what we get. We get zero x cubed, zero x two, one x plus zero. Right. So we are getting uh, the Taylor series. Taylor series or P of X is just X, which is correct. Okay. So let's do it another test. Test two. Uh, this time, uh, let's go plus two. And we're going up to the third term. So we have 0x cubed, 0x2, 1x plus 0. Okay? And uh, maybe let's also do a sys out on the f itself. We have x. Oh, that's because we're doing a test. Okay, test 2. Let's run. We have x plus 2 and we get 0x cubed, 0x2, 1x plus 2. Perfect. And then uh, let's do test 3. Here I'm going to do, let's say, sine of x. And uh, up to the third term. So it should be x minus x cubed over 6. There is no x2, right? So let's see what happens. Minus x cubed plus 0x2 plus 1x plus 0. Now the question is why is the coefficient is not 6? What happened? What, what went wrong here? And uh, We are calculating the uh, in order to do that let's go back to test 2 but let's add a coefficient 3 3 x three plus 2 3 x plus 2 so that works we have sine of x which returns sine of x and in the sine of x if it's diff we return cosine otherwise we take the we implement the chain rule and return a cosine so the differentiation is correct uh, for test 3 
minus x cube plus 0x2 plus x plus so we're, we're oh okay so that's because uh, I forgot so there is a this is actually there is something that I forgot here there is a 1 over n factorial also missing here so the coefficients are f of x 1 over uh, 1 factorial here and then uh, 1 over 2 factorial here and 1 over thir 3 factorial here and etc so the coefficients uh, are missing so not only we have to implement the function n times the polynomial and we also have to have the uh, double factorial or coefact coefactorial let's just call it factorial okay and it's going to be one and uh, factorial times equals uh, So it goes from 0 to so we have to multiply it by k plus 1 so basically this means that this multiplies 1 2 3 all the way to i right which is i factorial and then uh, what we are going to do is 1 over factorial times func all right so this is the correct way so we have one over factorial and then the value of the nth derivative or i derivative times the polynomial all right that's correct 1.1667 x cubed plus x plus one let's make sure that the other tests are also correct we have test one which is x okay and maybe let's make it a little bit more fancy f of x equals plus f Taylor of x equals plus Taylor and again the beauty of this here is that we already have a good class for polynomials we already developed a relatively nice uh, symbolic math which is uh, relatively fast so no problem there and we're just taking advantage of both of these two projects and then creating a Taylor expansion and uh, so let's run this again x is just uh, 1 x plus 0 okay so in the test 4 I'm going to do cosine So for cosine, we know that it's 1 minus x to over 2 plus x to the 4 over 4 factorial and minus etc. Okay? So up to the third term, we should get 1 minus uh, x squared over 2. Let's run test 4. Let's update these. And also update this. Cosine is minus minus x cubed, so no x cubed, minus point five x squared, which is correct, plus zero x plus one, which is correct. Now if I continue to the fifth power, I should get 1 over 24 x cubed, x, uh, yeah, to the 4. So x fifth is 0, x to 5, x 4 is 1 over 24, x cubed is 0, minus 1 over 2 x 2 plus 1, okay? And then uh, now the Taylor series also add up, so test uh, 5, we're going to do a third 
of uh, to the third term sine of x plus cosine of x so sine only has x minus x cubed over six cosine has one and x squared over two so we should get uh, basically one minus one plus x minus x squared over two plus uh, minus 1 minus x squared 1 plus x minus uh, x cubed over 6 so if we run test 5 so the function is sine of x plus cosine of x so minus 1 over 20, 1 over 6 x cubed minus 1 over 2 x uh, 2 plus x plus 1 so this is correct correct now the other thing that I'm going to show here is I'm going to plot these functions and try to see uh, how close they are to their uh, how close they are to their uh, so let's plot and compare plot and compare T uh, f of x and Taylor expansion so this function, this is Taylor, we have the Taylors and uh, in order to plot I'm going to use a uh, class that is basically uh, a wrapper for the J-free chart for plotting in Java and we will get to the plotting uh, in more details but for now I'm just going to use the class which is called MATLAB chart it's in the plot package in the MATLAB on my GitHub so MATLAB chart fig new MATLAB chart okay at the moment it doesn't recognize it so we have to give it a dependency give the build path a dependency on the MATLAB okay and then we have to import it from MATLAB and I'm going to create an array of values x uh, and use uh, math utils in the uh, in the util package in the mathlib math utils and call the lean space function this is exactly the function you use in uh, numpy in python or uh, matlab so the start is from let's say minus math.py math.py i'm going to use 10000 points 1000 points double func these are the f values f vals or func values func vals is uh, i'm going to use another class array func dot apply and it takes a interface a functional interface and an array which is x now array func is in the func package it's just basically a for loop so you give it an interface functional interface which defines a real function and just return runs the for loop and returns it so in order to create this functional interface i'm going to say that okay t goes to uh basically f dot get value at t so i'm creating a, a lambda expression based on the function that I have all right sine plus cosine and eventually I want to say that fig dot plot x and uh, funk vals with color b for example and then I'm gonna render the plot and I want to run it with a flag true boolean true okay so this is the value and I want to do a Taylor vals array func apply here t goes to the polynomial which is uh, Taylor dot evaluate at point t and over the array of x and similarly I'm going to plot Taylor valves with red alright 
so let's run this and it doesn't show because I mentioned this in one of my videos you have to go to the run configuration when you are on Mac in order to run a swing uh, component you have to make sure that uh, you you remove the check for this flag okay now if you recall we are expanding at uh, let's also give it a uh, some label so fig.x label is uh, x and fig.y label is uh, f of x uh, Taylor of x well we have to put this after rendering the plot okay so we are expanding at a uh, around zero okay and you see that uh, the Taylor expansion to the fifth term is uh, to the third term is relatively close to the value of the function but as we get away you see that the values uh, uh, are not exactly the same they get away from each other so this blue curve is the the actual function and the red curve is the Taylor expansion to the third term right now if I increase the order so this is the third term let's go to the sixth term now as you can see uh, it's very interesting that now it converges or approximate the function to a much wider range of x values around zero okay so the more you increase the function the order of the uh, the more you increase the order of the Taylor the number of terms in the Taylor series uh, basically the the wider the range is that the series convergence or approximate approximates the value of the function see the error is very small very so sixth order term sixth or six sixth degree polynomial is definitely a good approximation for sine of x plus cosine of x around zero and it covers from uh, minus two to two for example which is a wide range and the error is still very small all right Okay, this is uh, the topic of the Taylor expansion. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.